We've never spoken before, but I hope you forgive me. I can't believe that just went down like that. <laughs> you were like a demon. Ah, oh, I got lucky. And luck had nothing to do with it. The way you countered with that offer. <laughs> I've never seen anyone pick up a pen and sign a contract so fast in my life. You don't think we'd burn them? Oh, who cares? And they can explain it to their bosses. Let's go and celebrate. I need a drink. Well, you deserve a drink. Uh, I should get back and finish up the paperwork. And this deal's done. Let's go. Yeah, let's head back to the office then. Cindy. I am. You must be Edward. <laughs> uh. oh, finally we meet. Maybe our friends will find something else to talk about now. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah. I can't believe you were there. We could have been standing next to each other the whole show and we wouldn't have even realised it. No way. Okay. I would have noticed it. Really? You think so? Without a doubt. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Do you know it's really bad? Bad luck to cheers with water. Is it? Mm -hmm. So nice it is. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's lovely. I do think they need to water the hanging basket today. It's pretty dry up there. Yeah. They're looking like they're wilting away. They probably don't do it very often though, because otherwise the water will uh, they might fall even on all the other be tables. plastic, I think. They're not plastic, Edward. You've got a hell of an eye for flowers, if you can tell from here. I can tell that they're not plastic flowers. No? Yeah. You're they're sure they're not plastic not. flowers? No, they're not plastic flowers. I'm going to check that out. I You're right, they're not plastic. I know I'm right. I didn't need you to go and do that and cause a scene. Why? Wow. Nothing wrong with standing up. You're quite up. fiery then, aren't you? See, I thought you were a um, rather a quiet chap. That's the facade I put on. Why would you do that? Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Depends on who you're dealing with. But why would you want to have a quiet facade? When you're in a business meeting, and you've got a guy over there who's come over from some other part of the world, he's some big exec. You sit okay. there, you look him in the eye, and you tell him what the deal is. Wow. That's how to do it. Yeah, don't mess yeah. around with words. Wow.
How about a nightcap? Maybe next time. I, uh, I have to get up in the morning early. I've got this thing I'm supposed to do. So. A thing? Yeah. Right. Well, what are we going to tell our friends? Uh. What should we tell them? What is it? What? Your jacket! Busted. Come on. What? I want it now. Who is this? You know goddamn well who this is. This price hasn't changed. I'll have the money. I'll be there tonight. This is also for the pain. Bite down and we we'll begin.
help you. No one can help you, Edward. Dear God, we have never spoken before, but I hope you'll forgive me for returning the gift you have given me. I was taught that taking your own life is a one-way ticket, but I was hoping an exception could be made. Only because I feel you made a mistake when you made me. And to whomever lays me in the ground. My dying wish is that you please remove her from my body and burn her to ash, lest she continue her dreadful whisperings in my grave. The damned, Edward Mordrake. Edward. <sighs> 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 